Hello Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. So Aquarius, these messages are for the month of June. Um, so we are midway through the year. This is general, so not every message will resonate. Take the parts that do and leave the rest. This is also for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. I've already done all of the other elements, fire, water, and earth. So you can go look at those. Um, and let's tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for Aquarius. June messages. What would you like for Aquarius to know? June energy. Messages for Aquarius. What would you like for Aquarius to know? June messages. What would you like for Aquarius to know? June energy. Okay. Oh, I have ear. Okay. Good news and stork. News of a birth or business opportunity. Um, I believe either Taurus or Virgo got that card. So you got either of those highly aspected. And then we have Broken Ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. Another sign got this as well. I just can't think of it at this time. Bottom of the deck, crown. Honor and respect will come to you. So let's go ahead and tap in to see what this energy is. Spirit, tell me why is stork, ear, and broken ring here for Aquarius? What's the message? Why is ear, stork, and broken ring here? What's the energy for Aquarius? Okay, I have the star, but it's in the reverse. So for some of you, I feel like something's not meant for you. I feel like this is um, more along the lines of like a job, an opportunity. Tell me more about ear stork and broken ring. Why is ear stork and broken ring here for Aquarius? What's the message? I have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. There's like a delay. Something is delayed. That's what I'm getting here, Aquarius. I feel like you want to take action on something, but it's not time. Or this could be happening to somebody that's energetically tied to you. I feel like somebody still has to wait. Clarifying the star in the reverse is the High Priestess in the reverse. Pisces energy. Somebody's not trusting their intuition about a situation tell me more about the star why is the star here for aquarius what's the energy for some of you something has to do with moving relocating it may not be the best time for you to do so five of wands in the reverse um i feel like somebody wants to give up give me an energy for the high priestess in the reverse why is the High Priestess in the reverse here for Aquarius? What's the energy? I have Judgment in the Four of Cups. Somebody's making a judgment call to walk away, to reject something, someone. Somebody's saying no. But I feel like either you or this person is working against your own intuition by doing this. Give me an energy for... The five of wands in the reverse. Death. Yeah, some of you no longer want to fight for something anymore. You're ready to close out a cycle and put an ending to a situation. Tell me more about the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here for Aquarius? What's the energy? Something definitely has to do with time. The time frame of something for you. Tell me more about the four of cups. Ten of Pentacles. So whatever you're choosing to walk away from um, is a part of your destiny. So somebody's turning their back on the Ten of Pentacles. Something that's meant to be very abundant for you, whether it's career, love, something's definitely meant to add to your life and you're saying no to it. So it's the star in the reverse, like somebody is pretty much rejecting their destiny or something that's faded for them. Um, 
Give me an energy for the two of wands, which is definitely going to create a very significant change in your life. Tell me more about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Aquarius? What's the energy? The king of cups. I feel like there is somebody that's planning on moving towards you. Tell me more about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Aquarius? What's the energy? Why is the two of wands here for Aquarius? What's the energy spirit? I have the Emperor and the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Somebody could have Aries highly aspected. The Eight of Wands. I'm hearing listening to. So somebody could be taking advice from another person concerning the situation. Somebody has a choice. Somebody's trying to choose which, which path they're going to take. Which direction they're going to stick with. Go down. Give me an energy for the Emperor. I have the Nine of Cups, the Empress, and the Three of Swords. Libra, Taurus, energy. For some of you, something could definitely be a third-party situation. I feel like somebody like betrayed their empress. Somebody hurt their empress. I also feel like if um, whether you're this empress energy or Aquarius, you're the one that um, put someone in the Three of Swords. Whoever this empress is, whether it's you or someone else, love themselves somebody has a lot of self-love also a lot of love to give and i'm hearing like independent one thing about this empress or one thing about you is that regardless of how much you're hurt you still give to other people like you're still very nurturing very caring regardless of what you've been through like past trauma regardless of what you are going through currently you still know how to love on people dote on people like compassion you still pour out very good energy despite this three of swords despite if you're in a broken place and that's something that is very honorable to the divine or if this is somebody else you know this is somebody that makes the divine very happy very proud i'm actually hearing um Nicki minaj and drake i'm so proud of you so somebody keeps going somebody keeps loving even when they don't feel loved even when you know they feel at their worst they still know how to give to other people without expecting anything in return give me an energy for the three of swords why is the Three of Swords here for Aquarius? What's the energy? Why is the Three of Swords here for Aquarius? What's the message spirit? The Magician. Virgo Gemini energy. So somebody manifested heartbreak for themselves. So whatever somebody is going through, they created this. Now, for some of you with this Empress energy, this could be somebody you have a child or children with. Somebody was juggling. Somebody had options. And they made a willing decision to juggle, to take a huge gamble. And now they're in regret about it. Because they were operating like in their karmic energy, very toxic. This is somebody who also had a lot of secrets or you had a lot of secrets that you were keeping from this person. Give me an energy for the Knight of Swords. The Seven of Wands. So somebody's trying to block you from coming towards them? Or you're trying to stop someone from coming towards you? Give me another energy for the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Aquarius? 
Wow. The Six of Swords, like for real, somebody is trying to be a blockage. So Aquarius, either you're trying to stop someone from coming near you or this person don't want you near them. That's what I'm getting. It's like a, a no-go. Like, no, don't, don't bother me. Don't come near me. Somebody could be trying to rush in, like take quick action. It's not going to work. Somebody's like, no, stay away. Stay far away from me. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aquarius? What's the energy? Something to have to do like with a protection order as well. Or this is something that somebody's thinking about getting. Because I'm hearing harm. So somebody could actually be in fear. Ace of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, which is Eight of Pentacles. So whoever this person is or whoever you are, Aquarius, like now you want to put in the work. Now somebody wants to work on things. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aquarius? I can't make it up. The Chariot and the Ten of Cups. Somebody actually wants to work on things. They want this Ten of Cups. They want their wish fulfillment. They want to be happy. They want a family. They want to move things forward. Somebody could be seeing the number 10 with the 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, 10, 10. But somebody walked away from their destiny, like something that was meant to be very abundant. Which led to heartbreak. Somebody getting their, their feelings hurt in this situation. And now the person wants to work on things. But either you or this other energy is like, no, don't come near me. <laughs> like, I'm good. I don't want to do it. I don't want to fix it. Stay over there. Or that's how you're going to be. Or that's how this person is going to be. Give me an energy for the Ace of Pentacles. Now for some of you, Spirit is saying like it was both of you. So both of you hurt each other. Give me an energy for the Ace of Pentacles. And Spirit is saying like a lot of games were just played in the situation. So both of you were playing games with each other. But one of you is going to be like, no, I don't want to fix it. I don't care what you've realized. I don't care if you want to put in the work now. I am over it. Queen of Swords. Give me another energy for the chariot. Why is the chariot here? The Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. It's almost like now somebody sees like... Now they want to start over, but this Queen of Cups is just giving me like, no, I don't want to do it. For some of you, this could be a Cancerian Feminine or somebody that has it highly aspected. It's almost like whatever somebody is presenting to you or whatever offer you're presenting to someone in the month of June, it's not going to be good enough. It's just not. Somebody looking at this page, like, what am I supposed to do with that pentacle? Give me energy for the Ten of Cups. No, give me something for the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Aquarius? Nine of Swords. So somebody's going to be stressed out. Somebody's going to be worried, having anxiety. For some of you, too, this person is worried because... They know they might not have enough to give, enough to offer. So they're worried, is this going to be good enough? Is this person going to take me back? Like, is what I'm offering going to sway this person in another direction so that they will be open to me again? I'm hearing renew. So for some of you, this person definitely wants to renew the relationship. Give me an energy for the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Aquarius? What's the energy? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Aquarius? The King of Pentacles. 
somebody's about to level up financially. And they're going to be in a place where they're the provider. Somebody's going to be a provider. They're going to be ready to fully give to the connection. Somebody's going to be more settled, more stable. Somebody's stability is going to increase. For some of you too, this person could be holding back from a third party who tried to sabotage the connection in the past. Or you could, Aquarius. Give me another energy on the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. So, ten, ten, ten. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Hermit. Something deals like with a secret betrayal. Something's going to become uncovered in the month of June. And I feel like whatever comes out, whatever comes to light, that's why either you or this person is going to be like, stay away from me. Like, I cannot believe you did that. Something is like going to be the ultimate betrayal for some of you. And it's going to be like, no, I, I don't want to work on things. Like, there's no way... We're ever going to fix this. Heavy Virgo energy. Tell me more about ear. Why is ear here? For Aquarius. What's the energy? Why is ear here for Aquarius? What's the message? The fool. I feel like Aquarius, this is your energy like... Somebody's finally going to be able to leap away from a situation. I'm getting leave the past behind. Somebody's going to finally be able to embrace a new beginning. A new cycle. For some of you too, you could be finding out that you're becoming a parent. In the month of June. Give me an energy for Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Why is Stork here? For Aquarius, what's the energy? Why is Stork here for Aquarius? The Ace of Wands, yeah. You're going into a brand new cycle. New opportunities. For some of you too, something definitely has to do with moving, relocating. I'm hearing town. So just moving to um, a different part of a town, a city, state. Give me an energy for Broken Ring. Why is Broken Ring here for Aquarius? What's the energy? Why is Broken Ring here for Aquarius? What's the message, Spirit? The Hangman, Pisces energy. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. I just feel like somebody is going to be stuck thinking about the would have, could have, should have, what would have happened if they would have taken different actions. Somebody could have broken a promise. Something could also have to do with a promise ring. But I feel like somebody broke a promise. Somebody didn't keep their vows. King of Pentacles. Somebody didn't honor you or there's someone you didn't honor in a situation and now that's like coming to light. Or somebody's just realizing like, hey, you know what? This person really doesn't care about me, really does not honor me, really does not honor the relationship. And so I can finally leap forward. It's like somebody's just accepting the situation for what it is in the month of June. Give me an energy for crown. Why is crown here for Aquarius? What's the message? 
why is crown here for Aquarius what's the energy why is crown here the two of cups Somebody's going to get into um, a new connection, a two of cups, one that's balanced, one where there's mutual respect, understanding, emotions, honor and respect will come to you. So somebody's going to honor you. Somebody's going to respect you. Like somebody's getting what they deserve. Somebody's going to get, I'm hearing like princess treatment. The color purple could be significant. The color yellow is also relevant but yeah it's like somebody's going to treat you as the the king queen prince princess you are you're finally getting what you deserve and i feel like this is a win this is your justice i feel like your spirit team is putting something together now for some of you too with the three of cups i feel like there is going to be a reconciliation just be mindful of a third party somebody trying to come in with some manipulative tactics and a third party could be an ex family member friend i'm even hearing friend group just be mindful of third parties trying to interfere in your love life for some of you, this is something that could happen in the past and history wants to repeat itself. But remember, ultimately you have control. It's all about what you choose to listen to. What you choose to allow um, to affect your actions. The decisions you make. The hangman, you know, make enlightened decisions. Take time to think about things before you act. Give me another energy for Aquarius. What's the message? Give me another energy for Aquarius. What's the message, spirit? Give me another energy for Aquarius. I feel like, too, again, like somebody's going to become enlightened to the, that it's time for them to move on. I'm feeling that heavily. Like somebody's finally just going to say, hey, you know what? Hey, I, this is done. This is over with. It's just time to finally close out this cycle. Somebody's going to have a major realization. In the month of June, the Two of Swords... Give me an energy for the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? The Page of Swords. With the Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Six of Wands. I see somebody investing in the right situation. Somebody has a decision to make. So for some of you, somebody has a decision to make about whether they're going to choose to hold on to the past or, again, the fool, move forward and embrace something new. With this broken ring, I just feel like for some of you, something just can't be fixed. Regardless of how much you desire to fix it. It's like God is trying to move you to a situation where you're going to receive better treatment. Where you're going to actually get what you deserve. Somebody that's genuine. Somebody that's not ego driven. Give me another energy for the Two of Swords. Justice in the Two of Pentacles. So the number 2, 22 could be significant. Something could be relevant about the 2nd or 22nd. I just feel like a decision. Like somebody is making 
a major decision in the month of June that is going to change your life, that is going to change everything. Um, I'm hearing shift their focus. So somebody definitely is going to have a change in perspective. And this change is going to lead to justice. Somebody getting what they actually desire. Give me an energy for the two of pentacles. The four of pentacles. Making the decision to hold back from someone, not to give anymore. Tell me more about the page of swords. I know Aquarius, I just keep going in your reading because I just feel like it's something else here. Give me an energy for the page of swords. The Seven of Swords in Temperance. It's time that you... I'm hearing figure out that somebody... I'm hearing a lie. Like somebody is a liar. They're deceptive. And they don't honor you. Or Aquarius, this could be your energy. But it's almost like time is up for a situation. Seven of Swords to the Page of Swords is giving me Eight of Swords energy. Like somebody's going to get caught up in a lie. And it's time that you figured this out. Whatever this manipulation is. So for some of you, somebody could have kept you like in limbo. Going back and forth. Not being able to make a decision. But it was all based on lies. It wasn't the truth. And so the balance is exposure. Somebody's being exposed, the hangman, or you're just figuring out that somebody has been playing with you, manipulating you, keeping you stuck in the middle, not being able to choose, not being able to make a wise decision, a practical decision, delaying your justice. Thank you, spirit. Delaying your two of cups. That's what you're going to see. That's what you're going to figure out in the month of June. There's definitely been some interference. Three of cups at the bottom. Third party interfer interference. Whether it's family, friends. Let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Aquarius. Sagittarius energy. Uh, for some of you, you may want to go watch the Sagittarius reading. As well as Libra. Give me an energy for Aquarius. What's the message? It says, Dear you, sometimes you just feel like no one understands you. You're not heard or even that you don't count. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion. And although your feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone. Even when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected. So better things can replace what wouldn't have worked in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for your ultimate success. Life loves you. We love you and you are a unique spark of the divine and always connected to the light and to source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Love you always and forever. So just know whatever don't work, it's because you're being protected. Definitely don't try to force anything. You know, just simply allow things to happen, Aquarius. Everything will play out exactly as it should. But I definitely feel like there's something that's going to be revealed to you. There's a reason why things have been in limbo in a particular situation in your life. And you're going to be figuring that out. So, this is your message. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.